Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Ranking Member. I appreciate the opportunity to testify today. Authorization of the Water Resources Development Act for needed upgrades to the Greater Williamsport Levy in Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District can literally save lives as well as hundreds of millions of dollars of economic assets. Uh, as you may know, Williamsport, Pennsylvania is home to the Little League Baseball and the Little League World Series. But what you may not know is that the amazing event, which attracts tens of thousands of visitors each year from around the world and millions of viewers on television, sits directly in the path of a devastating flood zone. This area is protected only by a levee in need of serious rehabilitation and improvements. This levee, built in the 1950s by the Army Corps of Engineers, has protected this region ever since. However, after recent inspection by FEMA, large sections of the levee have received a rating of unacceptable. Currently, relief walls, cross pipes, and two eye walls are at risk of failure without significant rehabilitation and improvements. The effects of possible flood are nothing short of devastating. The flood zone behind this 20-mile levee system is responsible for 87% of Lycoming County's economic activity and employs 45% of the county's workforce. Just under half of the county's 116,000 residents live in the four highest risk jurisdictions. In addition of the thousands of commercial, industrial, and institutional properties protected by the levy, around half the county's largest employers, including, including Textron and ShopVac, and two institutions of higher education are at risk of major losses. The assessed value of all these properties is nearly three quarters of a trillion dollars. Also, almost 4,500 residential properties with a value of 292 million are also at risk. With all of this taken together, it is no wonder why the Borough of Williamsport, four other municipalities in the affected region, and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania have contributed significant local share to this project. We were also pleased to see the levy project was included in the Army Corps of Engineers Chief Engineers Report in the main table. Recently, we were happy to see the federal government contribute $5.6 million to this very important project through the Economic Development Administration. While we were off to a good start, additional federal investment is necessary to see this project through. That is why authorization of the project in the Water Resources Deve Development Act reauthorization is so critical. We cannot allow the home of Little League Baseball to be the home of the next preventable flooding disaster. We know problems with the levee exist now, and now is the time to act. With challenging and unpredictable weather patterns, one cannot know the certainty when a devastating flood will impact this deteriorated levee system. However, we can control what is in front of us and that, th that is providing the needed resources in the Water Resources Redevelopment, or excuse me, Development Act to complete this project sooner rather than later. I urge the committee to include the authorization for this project for the safety of Lycoming County businesses and residents. I thank the, the committee, the ranking member, and the chair for allowing me to testify today.